It is penalties galore. I could hear the yelling from my commentary position. <laughs> and there is a yellow light blazing, which signifies that Bjorn Hansen has received a penalty. And this again is do or die for Hansen. If he's to maintain his hopes to win this 2013 Alpari World Match Racing Tour Championship, he's got to win this one. And right now he's in trouble. A penalty down already. Richard doing a really nice job of leading that. I wonder whether Bjorn, ha look, already the spinnaker just starting to flicker on board with yeah. Hansen. And I don't think he's got this right. Mathieu Richard right on his air. I reckon that right now Bjorn Hansen is unbutton unbuttoning his gloves and getting ready for a fist fight at the top of this course because he is not going to extend enough distance, I don't think. This is on here, guys. We're coming down to the bottom of the run. Bjorn Hansen. Sailing super deep, trying to get across the line of Mathieu Richard, reeling him in. Richard does not want to get committed. We see him slowing down as well. This is going to be a battle that will affect who goes through and who goes out. And it's really a battle of who can go slowest right now. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's such a, still it's such the a yellow light beats on the umpire boat. <laughs> It's an it, it's a, it's an amazing discipline that, that where all the rules of conventional sailing are turned on its head. And oh Matthew no! Richard look, Matthew has Richard has just got a little twist in his spinnaker. I wonder if Bjorn Hansen has seen that. That could be his chance to strike. Perhaps she. Oh, young run. Uh, <laughs> well, these oh, guys the these guys know. We saw the Howie get dropped immediately about two feet. We saw the bowman pulling on the on the uh, on the leech of the sail. Bam! And the kite's up and drawing. Bjorn Hansen slow main right and on center line. Slowly he goes trying to get Mathieu Richard. Now he's trying to get Mathieu Richard to commit to the right as he's looking downwind. So he can luff him off on starboard, sweep him up into the winds, and then try and complete his tack and come through the line. Barely 80 meters left here before the finish. Not a lot of time left for whatever Hansen's gonna pull. This is it. This is the 2013 sailing careers of 10 guys coming into these final moments of this match. Bjorn Hansen against Matteo Richard. Still the light flashes. Still Bjorn Hansen has it all to do as the pair slowly progress inch by inch down towards the bottom of the race course. Matteo Richard, small set of the spinnaker there, just repositions himself a little to the left. Bjorn Hansen counters. Small set, jibs coming up. I expect we'll see Matteo Richard counter as he now goes for the roll. Matteo Richard sheeting on the main. He's going for the roll. Bjorn Hansen sheets on, he responds. Small flap, but I think Matteo Richard is now committed. We're gonna see Bjorn Hansen go for a big luff now, the big hikes. Now, have they got their vangs off? Have they got their tweakers off? Are they set up for this? Matteo Richard marching forward. Can he get to two lengths of the pin? That is the question. We can see- 20 the meters, 20 meters to go. We can see the, there, the big luff from Bjorn Hansen. He's gonna try and sell the penalty. Can he get to the line of Matteo Richard? There, Bjorn Hansen down. We can see, I'm sure, flags ablaze. There's the flag. What will the umpires decide? Mathieu Richard, bow, piling down towards the finish line, and it's a green flag. Wow. And Mathieu Richard from France and the GEFCO match racing team has overtaken Bjorn Hansen Who's into the finish and has claimed his spot in the quarterfinals. And Bjorn Hansen's 2013 championship hopes are gone. We can see the disappointment on the boys. Not a good feeling to watch your year slip away when you've been the best you've ever been on this tour. And he's sailed a heck of a year, Bjorn Hansen and the E-Work sailing team. But Matthew Richard advances, and Bjorn Hansen is a spectator from now on.